Yeah, after that, man, I was like, screw this, you just <laughs> messed it up. Yeah, yeah, we actually, I actually had a big, big we're, more conversation about that. We already have good 3D games like Soul Calibur and Tekken. It, it should have stayed Mortal Kombat. 2D, I think, yeah. And not only did they make it 3D, they made it a really crappy 3D game. It wasn't like it even yeah. well done. Mm -hmm. A lot of the 3D games I don't like is they play slower. Like, um... Uh, I like I like the speed of Street Fighter. 121 up armor, and it's actually. What are you bad. talking about? Street Fighter 2 or Street Fighter 2 Turbo? I mean, it's not really good turbo. armor, but I mean, good upgrade. <laughs> I remember I remember Street Fighter 2 Turbo on maximum Turbo, though. which like Turbo 10. You actually had to put in a cheat code to like unlock even higher Turbo levels, and it was like so fast it was impossible to play. Uh, I miss games that have cheat codes, man. That's like classic gaming. Yeah, I I don't know why they ever stopped doing cheat codes. They should definitely bring them back. Konami like, code, man. Built in. Yes, the Konami code. But yeah, Street, Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, you literally could put in a code to unlock like double turbo speed. Yeah, yeah. And that, and that was, that gave you a reason to read the freaking game magazines like Game Pro and Nintendo Power. It's yeah, because they to would get to give the you these things. Yeah. But we, don't really read games for, we don't read magazines for reviews. No, no for cheat anyway. Code, <laughs> For the cheat if code. I want to see something reviewed, I'll go online. Yeah, I'll just go to YouTube and type it in. Back then, there really wasn't a YouTube. After it. <laughs> well, I don't even know. Was there even a YouTube back then? Like when, no, like during no, Nintendo no, Power no. Games? I don't think so. No, the the, the original like reviewer would be um the uh, Tom from Toonami. He did um game reviews during uh Toonami. You yeah. guys remember that? Now that makes me remember or mm -hmm. wonder when YouTube did come out. Uh, it's not that old. Mm -mm. It's only about seven or eight years, I think. That's a pretty long time. Well, not really. I mean, I mean, as far as things go, it's relatively young. Especially as far Ooh. as gaming goes. Ignore that. Ignore that. I tried to ignore you anyway. And I would just let you die. Don't worry. Younger than uh, so. God, who's the guy that has the really, really young wife and he's like an old bastard? One of the Hollywood movie star people. Most oh. of them. <laughs> no, one Which person one? in particular is like a, a pedo. He's like on, he's about over the hill, like in his 60s now, and he's got like a 20 year old wife or something. What? God, who is that? He's a big movie star. I can't remember the name right now. Yeah, I saw it on Reddit. Um. Um, recent, uh, not recently, it was about a month For some reason, the only two that come to mind is uh, Sylvester Stallone and, and Mel Gibson. And it's not either one of those two, but they just come to mind because of all the other stuff they're on that freaking... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mel Gibson's been all, all over the media lately with his, his wife probably. It's because he's crazy. He is. <laughs> Makes him a really good movie actor. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be kind of crazy to be a movie actor, I think. None of the good ones are sane. Oh, is, I know who it is that I'm talking Nicolas about. Nicolas Cage comes to mind. <laughs> maybe, it, maybe it is Nicolas Cage that I'm thinking about that has the young wife and he's really old. I don't think so, though. But no. Nicolas Cage is not that old. No, but Nicolas Cage is highly humorous. I like I like crazy Nicolas Cage more than I like, you know, refined Nicolas Normal Cage one. in movies, <laughs> yeah. yeah. My favorite Nicolas Cage movie that comes to mind is Face Off. Face off. That is then pretty the, good. Bad Lieutenant was kind of. Hmm. Speaking of Nicolas Cage, did you did any of you guys uh, watch The Punisher? The Punisher. I've seen The Punisher. But I don't... You mean Ghost Rider? Oh, not from Ghost Rider. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, Ghost Rider, not the Punisher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How I've, did you I've seen Ghost Rider. Up? <laughs> Leave me alone. I've seen the first one, and I know there's a second one on the way, or or currently out. Yeah, it's meant to be coming out this year or something. Oh, yeah. this I haven't is a seen nice that. armor. It's all those got a negative. Oh, it's got all all the ta all the hero stats and all the tower stats. Treasures. I should open one for it. So I steals them all. Too late. Oh wow! Absolutely fuck all in any chest. Well, check out this one over here. It's a missile on my way. Pristine boot. 151 ups, but it's got all the uh, tower and hero oh, stats. Oh nice. But it has one negative uh, a resistance, which is poison. What um, type is it? Uh, pristine boots. Damn. Mm. It's worth five mil, though. It might be alright for 
um, when I need a shock EV for the shock walls and stuff. Uh, um, how does that work on air units? I, heard, I read that it, they were going to work on air units. Well, it will, but it doesn't yet. So it's just going to trigger things that fly above it? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, well, I mean, like, as, uh, as long as it doesn't get targeted by the gyms, it will be useful. I mean, but if it gets targeted, then there's not I guess really it really depends on the trigger range. Yeah. Well, they're coming into it sideways. It, there would have to be no trigger range. And to yeah. get them to run into it long ways, it'd be quite difficult. Unless mm -hmm. there's a narrow hallway or something. Pretty much. So uh, I was already having this discussion a couple of times. So I think that they should have no aggro onto those. and Yeah, definitely. So that they would fly right over them and you can put them across. And this whole moving walls thing from the, the Sharkman, I wonder if that's going to affect EV walls. Because yeah, they've, they've already... Um... They've already patched it to where um, the ogre and uh, unlike Fire the allies queen. pushes just pushes in. Oh, so how do they move? They just kind of move as one unit, or does it move one yeah. one node and not the other, or something? It, 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 they basically made it like um, like regular walls. They can just push it from the middle. Oh, uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. But if you have it pinned in, then it might. It just it just means that proxies are going to be even more useful because obviously a proxy will definitely kill these things in one shot if they're like kobolds. So they won't yeah. even get used to it. They won't even get near it. Just put a proxy in front of your walls and you're done. For, for depending on what you're doing. If it's like mixed mode survival, then they got like. <laughs> well, mixed mode survival's a whole different kettle of fish, in it really. Um, I've seen kobolds dash over a trap, just like they yeah, just do. Kobolds do. They bug out over and through things. They can run through walls. They can do anything. And to Smirnoff in the chat every other Saturday, so not this Saturday coming, the Saturday after, we do live streams of DD with random people off of the stream. So if you go on to the Dungeon Defenders forum, people off the stream now. It's the people waiting in there. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, now it's anyone who happens to be waiting in the mumble, but we're kinda, we, we've we do do. We've almost pretty much got an official crew people. together now. It's pretty much <laughs> pretty the same, much. same guys always on. <laughs> Which is probably gonna piss off the viewers eventually because like, we can never get in. Mm -hmm. Although I guess since we're playing like 16 player maps, we have plenty of spots. Yeah, yeah well, exactly. like we I mean, races. we weren't exactly playing the newbie maps. <laughs> we were. I was surprised we did so well on them, to be honest. I, yeah, I thought it was gonna be horribly dying because the, how horrible things scale. But, mm -hmm. but the way we worked it out, it worked out really well. It worked out well. I was surprised because this, we took advantage of the way we could stack guardians in the boost monk. To overcome Pleasantly the scaling. surprised, but <laughs> yeah, it all went well. And I'm just looking for the forum post now, and then I shall post it in the chat. Oh, so it gets pushed back quite far quickly, doesn't it? I wonder how hard my harpoons hit with the whole boost monk, because I never really got to see during um, our last Oasis run, because I was just too too blind. <laughs> Freaking what's his name's harpoons were hitting for 250k. Well, Ricky's. Yeah, Ricky's. His yeah. Ricky, is Ricky's he, Ricky has got his EV up to like 3,000 wall health now on his, finally. His, yeah, it's just crazy. Absolute crazy. Oh, that was your. Uh, that was yeah, your, yeah, it was, it was my was like, um, decoy. What's going one. down? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> we 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 during an OMF we had an EV that was jumping out and doing that and jumping back and we're all like something's going down repair 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 <laughs> and no one can select it and we're all like what's going down over here? It is good fun doing that. I must admit. <laughs> I did an OMF run with a random crew the other night and like the builder oh, went AFK went well. to watch a movie. Bet that went well, didn't it? The builder going AFK? Yeah. Well, he comes back at wave 14 and he's like, hey guys, sorry, this movie's really, really good. And we're like, really? <laughs> he's like, did anything go down? We're like, yeah, the whole front. <laughs> nice. <laughs> of course, we, you know, we're starting wave 14 and we've got like you know, random bouncer blockades and yeah, spike yeah. blockades just thrown out there to slow stuff down <laughs> while we try and kill it. Christ so, tell, tell him to invest in a DVR. 
<laughs> I don't see why people would play if they don't plan on staying. So I'm, I'm gonna choose this really hard map and then just fuck off and watch a film. That's okay as long as you know the people you're with are good enough to handle it without you. But yeah, if you're it's a bunch designated of, it's apparently builder, a bunch of strangers, so, like none of us knew each other. I just randomly joined the game. Yeah, yeah. it just <laughs> seems like a stupid idea to me. It just the cocktail for failure. That's for damn sure. Yeah, we managed to successfully <sighs> complete it, but it was it was definitely hard those last few waves yeah. without the builder there to replace things. Funny that. <laughs> I wonder why that could be. I really hate joining some people's games sometimes, like, they'll say, bring a guardian, I, I won't have a guardian on this particular character that I'm on, but I'll join, and it's like, you have a guardian? They yeah, and then they can instantly kick you. I don't think I've played a public game in probably I several haven't. months. Yeah, same. I always play games with Vicious now, or at least someone I've streamed with before. I'll dive into a public game at random usually, just I every once in a great to. while to see what's going on. <laughs> if I if I've been playing for a while and I decide that you know I'm getting bored playing solo or no one's on at the time that's doing anything that I really want to you know invest in like you know a 15 hour mm -hmm. survival run, then I'll go try an open <laughs> game and see what's going on. <laughs> see, I, I I never can find a public game that's in a level and difficulty that matches mine anyway. So I usually just end up joining a, a lobby game and going around my barbarian and killing everything for him. That's <laughs> <laughs> one shot. Again, <laughs> lol. <laughs> well, see. I've actually got my search, uh, my search uh, for what games it displays set to only display insane and nightmare games. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't even. I went. I went to a game insane, that had like three people, and they were like low level. And I was like, "Look, here's the deal. I'm going to help you, but you can't build anything." <laughs> yeah, don't build anything. <laughs> and, I'm going to help you out. And, no, and I didn't build stand. anything either. I literally, I literally used my barbarian I'm doing a live and guarded right the crystal with, with no towers, right. and, and <laughs> I just did like no towers to the first four stages. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Where's the clock? <laughs> I'm still trying to like. Laser beam! God, I love the EV laser. <laughs> I love shooting the before class. Oh, they're making so. it. Next patch so that you can drop your mana before you activate it and you can pick yes, up your mana. Yes, I know. That's yeah, wonderful. Yeah, there's no. It immediately grabs the mana you drop instead of having to wait. Which I'm is back. a good idea. They should have actually. Implemented that from the start, I think. I think that they thought here's we the clog, and I'm going to deal with the clog. <laughs> oh, I found the clog, and I've already played with the clog. There's a gym like just sitting in the back. Turtle plus here. siphon. Eyes are coming. Uh, where's my minigun? <laughs> Hello, spiders. Go away, spiders. It's off. Leave me alone. <clears throat> I like how we traded off there, vicious. I'm like I plow through and then I run away so that I can reach, you know, get some more mana, and you just like plow into it. Oh dear, five spiders. Yeah. Run away. Run it's away. Hard for me to run away now too. Uh oh. <laughs> Figures I'd have to run away when the spiders are out. It's like Spider when flow. the spiders come out, everyone just runs the fuck away. <laughs> well, I was I needed to drop turtle right when the spiders came out, which is a bad time. Get to the chopper! <laughs> time to start Go over a proxy. To get to the chopper! Just to understand over a proxy now and hope you live. <laughs> I don't know, that just totally made me think of some stuff from Saints Row the Third. Hey, look at Zemo's car wash. <laughs> <laughs> that was so awesome. <laughs> Bam! Awesome ragdoll physics. I haven't seen that one yet. <laughs> it's uh like episode twenty eight, I think, uh, right. that he's posted. Uh. <laughs> and it was legitimate. Yeah, not... It was like so legit. I was like really surprised to see Azimos car wash because I didn't ever notice that in the game before. So I was like literally just focusing on that and trying to show Deagle <laughs> that. And then he stops to look at it, and then <laughs> he, like, he like throws on the brakes in his car and just comes to a stop on the road. <laughs> <laughs> And I can understand, like I said, the computer running into you, but who would have thought they'd actually go flying through the windshield and everything? That was just hilarious. Yeah. Didn't wear a seatbelt. Shame, shame. Spider in the Rock. I saw an upgrade for me up there somewhere. Spider in the Rock sounds like a drink. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, I, I done killed it now. Done we killed need, it. We need a range over here. 
Um, a range. You don't need a range.